so I just wanted to uh, make another video about overall what I did in February. Um, my challenge to myself in February, the results, why I did it, all that good stuff. So, last year, uh, when I found out that I had scleroderma, uh, diffuse scleroderma at that, um, it was pretty rough. I was in a bad spot. Um, all my joints were in so much pain. I was sleeping 10, 12 hours a day, it seemed like a lot of times. Um, I was having problems even trying to play with the kids. All that kind of stuff, right? So, um, I started doing a lot of research. It's something I could do. And I, I wasn't coming up with a lot. And I decided I would uh, try to go on low-carb diet of some kind. Because I knew I could at least lose weight, hopefully, doing that. And at least if I lost weight, my joint pains might not keep me from getting up and down and playing and all that stuff as much as before. So that was the plan originally. And I started low carb and I was looking up recipes and stuff. I came across the Keto Connect video and then I started binge watching. I started trying to research autoimmune diseases and even scleroderma itself and all that stuff with, with the keto diet. I found a lot of stuff with autoimmune, but not much with scleroderma, so I really don't didn't know what I was getting into with it. But giving up, you know, sugar and bread and almost all fruits and Krispy Kreme donuts and Reese cups, that wasn't something I was really interested in doing um, at the time, but I needed to. Like, I needed to lose weight. Um, so I started a low-carb diet. Um, like, I was even one of those people, even when I eat, like, chicken, I want teriyaki sauce. I want ketchup. I want barbecue sauce. I want sweet with my meat, even. Candied bacon, all that good stuff. But I, I quit it. I gave up all those foods. I gave up the sweets and the sugars. Well, sweets and sugars are the same thing, I guess. But I gave those up, and flowers, and uh, I didn't eat a lot of bananas to begin with. But I gave those up, too. Potatoes. Um, and then I thought, well, I'll see if keto works for me. It's like, But I didn't know if I could eat that high fat, so I decided to try it. Within two weeks, my joint pains were gone. Gone. Completely gone. Um... I've had a random pain here and there since then in my joints, but it's been very rare. Um, but I've known since then with my scleroderma, I have gut issues. Um, and I'm aware of that. Uh, my fingers still get cold, like really cold from the uh, Raynaud's phenomenon. Um, but that's really the only issues I still have with scleroderma. And my acid reflux and GERD and all that stuff from the gut issues isn't really that bad. My hands getting cold is probably the worst thing I have going on right now as far as that disease. And when it seems like I'm supposed to be in pain all the time, and I'm not. I get around great. I've lost a ton of weight. Um, I get out and play with my kids. We run around. I get up and down from the floor. Um... All that good stuff, right? But I've noticed the whole time I've been doing this diet, the cleaner my eating gets, as in getting rid of canola oil. I did that a long time ago. And vegetable oils and soybean oils, all that stuff. Make your own mayonnaise with good quality oils, that kind of thing. The cleaner I got with ingredients, not just watching nutrition. and it, It's not really just a net carb approach. Or even just a carb approach. I look at net carbs. I look at carbs. But also read the ingredients. Um, if dextrose is in the ingredients. I'm probably not going to eat it. Definitely not regularly. I might eat it. Let's say if I'm. Well. If I'm out eating and I want a salad. And I get blue cheese dressing. I'm going to have probably canola oil. Or soybean oil. Or something like that in it. And I do do that occasionally. But if you've been watching my videos. It's, it's not a lot. Um just a rare case. But what I wanted to do this month was clean it up even more. 
Um, I want to try to get to the basics, see how my body would react. Um, getting down to just, I mean, I mostly ate beef. Um, but I ate meat, uh, cheese for the first three weeks, eggs and butter. And I dropped my zip fizz down to one a day. And that, so that was two carbs a day from zip fizz. And that was a good chunk of my carbs. Scallops occasionally have some carbs. Eggs technically have carbs. Um, I, I don't really count eggs as carbs, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I did all that. And I'm going to tell you, I felt amazing um, during the month. Um, my acid reflux was pretty much completely gone. Um I mean, I don't know what else to say. There was no joint pains. There was no issues. I lost a ton of weight. I lost inches. Um, I was not hungry. It was hard giving up the keto desserts and even hard giving up stuff like, I mean, I gave up avocados and nuts and all my dessert bars and Brussels sprouts. And even, I didn't give up avocado oil. Like, I didn't have, did I have mayonnaise? I, don't, I didn't have mayonnaise all month because that wasn't in the list of ingredients I was allowed to have. Um, and I felt great. And it's really weird when you get into eating like that because, uh, full disclosure, I probably only had to go sit down on a toilet about once a week, if that. Um, but now the first day after... First day of March, it was probably more times than I did the whole month of February because I had a couple bars, I overate, I felt horrible that night. I didn't track anything. I don't have a clue how many calories I ate. I didn't eat bad foods other than the blue cheese dressing at O'Charlie's that day. I just ate way too much food. Um, too many. I had two bars and a couple other desserty things, I think, and stuff like that. Then I made Brussels sprouts the next day. and So I felt better in February um, than in March. But I tracked everything I ate for February. So I'll show you what I ate, uh, just high level, what I ate, uh, what the results were, and all that good stuff. So let's get to that. Here is what I ate for the month of February. I have 55,740 calories total. Um, that's a little over 1,900 a day. Um, but as you can see, 66% of my calories came from meat. It kind of surprised me that 11% came from cheese. I thought cheese would be below eggs and fat, but it's not. I didn't even eat it the last week except for some of the crunchy cheese. And I did count the crunchy cheese under cheese. Um, the fats would be mostly butter and some bacon grease. Um, and for eggs, I mean, I ate a lot of eggs you, if you saw the videos. My supplements were omega-3 pills that I take. Um, I take a couple of those pills every day. That's where those calories come from. And electrolytes were my Zip Fizz drinks. So that's what made up the calories I ate. Oh, now let's look at even more detail. So this is kind of the next level breakdown of what I ate. So you saw that, what, 60, 66% of my calories came from meat. 44% of my calories came from beef alone. Um, then you get into pork and cheese and eggs and butter. And I broke it down to seafood. Um, my omega-3 supplements. Uh, there's chicken. I didn't eat very much chicken, as you can tell. I had some hollandaise sauce and some bacon grease. Um, so this is this is a breakdown of what I ate. But you want to see more? Boom. Here's a breakdown of what I ate. So I even broke beef out into ground beef and ribeye and prime rib and beef short ribs, right? So 26% of my calories still came from ground beef. Um, a good amount of that ground beef 
was, well, I guess I started off the month buying a 10 pound block of ground beef. Um, but also I bought the Costco grass fed burgers. I bought a couple other random packs of meat. Um, the ribeyes were from Uncle Charlie's. I did not break eggs out by Kroger eggs and happy eggs <laughs> or quail eggs and duck eggs. But I could have. I have all of that info, but I don't see any to do that. We'll just put eggs as eggs. Um, and eggs were 10% of my calories. Then butter. I ate a good amount of butter, obviously. Bacon, sausage, pork belly was two meals around my fasting uh, my 36 hour fast. Um, the cheese fly from Costco, like you'll see down here, I broke out the cheeses, Comte, cheddar, cream cheese, but the cheese flats, I had a hard time breaking that out. So I just threw it all together. Got that from Costco. Um, we see even the scallops down at 1%. I ate a little bit of, I mean, a chicken breast, 0%. Anchovy, 0%. Bone broth, shrimp. I had a little bit of that stuff. But the big hitters for my month were ground beef, ribeye, and eggs, and butter, and it was delicious. Um, I really didn't miss the other food that much, because this food tasted that good. Um, and I don't have stuff like salt on here. I salted a lot of food with a lot of salt. <laughs> um, the closest thing I had to a vegetable, there's a couple of the sausages on here. That might have had a little bit in it. The bone broth at the bottom that I used to break my fast had maybe some trace amounts. And then garlic powder. I did use garlic powder. If you want to count that as a vegetable, then I cheated and I had vegetables. Um, but I'm not worried about it. So let's look at uh, my results. So starting at the top, I started. my starting weight was 249 pounds. I set a goal for myself to get down to 231 and that that's what I tried to do um I thought I could make a run at it because I've been eating a lot more calories um as you can see I got down to 233.7 I was two set point two point seven pounds away from reaching my goal but you know I don't care that was awesome I'm happy to lose that weight um I'm not upset at all that I didn't reach my goal but I tried till the very end the first week I had set my calories at 2100 Dropped my fat percentage down uh, from what I was eating down, probably closer to 75%. Week two, I had a, uh, it was kind of the same thing. I knew it wouldn't keep going as fast, uh, the weight loss. But I thought week three would have more weight loss because I started the week with a 36-hour um, a fast. And then coming off of that, I even dropped my calories down to 800. And that's eight, not 800. I did not drop it down to 800. I dropped it down to 1,800 and closer to 70% fat, 71%, 2%, something like that. Um, but for weeks three and four, um, well, week three, I thought I would lose more weight than I did. I didn't. That's okay. Week four, I dropped cheese to try to get help get some inflammation down. And I may have actually hit my goal, but as my wife pointed out when she watched my week four video, I'm... I had a lot of salt because I had some meat sticks and some sausages. And when I looked at the amount of sodium that was in that, I may have actually been holding on to a little bit of inflammation. But uh, was it two pounds worth? Probably not. But it might have been something. Um, so I might have messed up eating some of the that salt, too much salty stuff and still salting my food regularly. I, I even had anchovies. Like I just had a lot of salt that week, it seems like. Um, so it says here, you know, failure to meet my goal, but extremely successful. And I believe that, especially if you look down below, let's forget about weight for a minute. I lost, I measured myself on February 6th and February 20th. So it wasn't quite the beginning of the month. I don't know why that says February 20th. That should say February 26th. But anyway, in the 20 day period, um, I lost 1.25 inches on my neck. I lost an inch on my chest, two inches on my thighs, but I lost five inches on my stomach. And I believe that's legit too, because I remember halfway through this telling people that my, like I told my wife, my stomach just feels smaller. Like it, it I can tell a difference in the month that my stomach has shrunk. Um, and it did. 
And I'm very happy with these results. Uh, I, I don't see anybody could complain with these results, to be tell you the truth. So there you have it. That's what I ate. That was my results. That's why I did it. Um, I'm back to eating some other stuff this month. It's not too crazy. I'm trying to gradually increase my calories a little bit so I can get back up to eating, eating more food. Um, but I don't want to just jump back up five or 600 calories all at once. I got to slowly build up, um, so I can s slowly drop again, possibly even, but will I do this again? Absolutely. As hard as it is to give up some of these foods, um, it, it, it feel like it's needed, um, like my, your body just needs to reset. And it's more about health benefits than it is weight loss. Um, I, I felt better that month than I felt. And I thought I felt great before that month. And I did. But I felt even better that month. Um, all the tests I got done. Um, I'm getting ready to go get another in-body, whatever, in-body pro it's a body composition analysis. Um, I had one right at the end of January. I'm going to get ready to go get another one. Um, and I may put that down the details next week or something. I might just do a separate video on that. Because I think it's pretty interesting, all the details you can find out. And it'll be nice to see what happened in about six weeks time period that included this this way of eating to see what happened with my body, with where my fat is, uh, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, that's just some detail about what I did, why I did it, what the results were. And, uh, I'll be doing this again. Maybe I'll even pick a month that has more days in it instead of picking the shortest month of the year next time. We'll see.